In the second part of our HPC PowerBox reviews, we are checking out the Midrange Performance Pro model. Let's also see how it compares to the Mini model, including unboxing, overview, benchmarks, and some game and emulator performance tests. First out of the box, we have the HPC PowerBox Pro. We will take a closer look at it shortly. Underneath is the user guide, which is in multiple languages, including English, Chinese, German, and Italian. Inside the packaging, we have a power supply. We will include the correct adapter for your country. There is a HDMI cable to connect to your TV or monitor. And last but not least is a visa mount and screws to attach it. The HPC PowerBox Pro measures around 5.45 by 4.96 by 1.96 inches and weighs 540 grams. On the front are a USB Type-C port and two USB 3 ports, followed by a 3.5mm audio port and the power button. On the back are two more USB 3 ports, two HDMI ports, Gigabit Ethernet and the power port. There is space inside to install an internal 2.5 inch R drive or SSD. Remove the rubber feet and screws and then you can secure it into the drive bay. The HPC PowerBox Pro features the Intel i5-124-50H with 8 cores and 12 threads running up to 4.4GHz. For the graphics, there is the Intel UHD graphics running up to 1.2GHz. There's 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM which can be expanded up to 64 gigs. For storage, we have options of 512 gigs to 2 terabytes of storage which supports up to 4 terabytes. For communications, there is fast Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2. In our power consumption tests, we got 11.8 watts whilst idle on the desktop and 48 watts whilst running the Cinebench benchmark. Also, whilst running Cinebench, we got a highest fan noise of just 49 decibels and highest temperature of 58 degrees C. Passmark runs benchmarks on the CPU, GPU, RAM and storage for the overall performance. We got a score of 3082, which is an OK score, but it is lower than the PowerBox Mini model. PCMark runs a series of tests for day-to-day -day tasks ranging from web browsing to light image editing. We get a score of 5153 compared to the Mini model at 5282. It's not a massive difference in overall scores, and both are at the higher end in our mid-range mini PC tests. Cinebench tests the performance of the single and multi-cores of the CPU. We get a score of 1667 for single core and 6263 for multi-core. The single core sees a nice increase with its Intel performance core, but we do see lower multi-core scores than the mini model. We finished the benchmarks with 3 Mark, which tests the CPU and GPU working together for gaming performance. We get 857 on Time Spy, 2726 on Firestorm, and 10849 on Night Raid. The Intel processors do suffer for gaming performance when compared to similar AMD chipsets, and this shows here. As with the PowerBox Mini, the Pro model is not a gaming mini PC, but they can both handle similar levels of games. You are looking at the lower demanding games or older games range. With those, you can run out 4K with decent graphics settings, but once you try higher demanding games, you will need to lower the resolution and graphics settings. To compare, in our Street Fighter 6 benchmarks, we got just under 30 FPS across the three tests at 720p on the lowest graphic settings. And with Shadow of the Tomb Raider at 720p on the lowest graphics, we got 33 frames per second. The Mini model does perform a little faster with its extra GPU performance. For emulation, we overall see good performance. Running your classic consoles and computers will be no problem. You can safely run PS1 and Dreamcast, even upscaling the rendering for improved visuals. For PS2, you can run Gran Turismo just fine at 60fps for the most part. However, on Outrun, you will be getting around the 50fps area. 
and for PS3 you will see shader caching on Tekken 6, smoothing out to around 60 FPS afterwards. Though on Wipeout you will see general performance around 30 to 40 FPS area. The HPC Powerbox Pro model is your more traditional looking mini PC with a horizontal orientation and subtle colours. It is best suited for the office environment with the design, but also the relatively quiet fan noise even when under high workloads. Whilst the Powerbox Mini did outperform in all of the tests, keep in mind that this was at its highest performance settings which resulted in higher fan noises and heat generation. It also has a lot of RGB lighting which may not be suitable for the office environment. If quiet and unobtrusive, while still remaining powerful enough for your daily workload is what you're looking for in a mini PC, then the Ace PC Powerbox Pro is definitely the right choice. You can also enjoy your 4K video content as well as light gaming and emulation with the added benefit of an internal 2.5 inch storage. You can learn more about both models and order yours today from droix.co.uk and droix.net. We currently have a sale running for the next week or two and you can grab yours for a great price. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with our latest reviews. Thanks for watching and we will see you back in our next one.